Famed actress Susan Lucci recently paid tribute to her longtime husband, Helmut Huber, who passed away in 2022. In an interview, Lucci reflected back on what has been a difficult year for her, having lost her longtime companion. In this video, we'll take a look at their relationship, her career, and her recent health scare. Join Facts First as we present Susan Lucci Confesses He Was the Love of Her Life. Susan's Recent Interview In an appearance on the TV show Good Day New York, Susan Lucci opened up about the challenging year she's had, having lost her husband Helmut Huber in 2022. Host Rosanna Scotto talked to Lucci about the difficulty of losing the person she loved the most. Lucci gave a heartfelt and tear-filled tribute to Helmut, saying it had been an especially trying time. The interview, which took place in early February of 2023, happened shortly before Valentine's Day. Lucci noted it would be an especially hard year for her, since it was the first one she would celebrate since Huber's passing. Scotto pointed out that Lucci and Huber were incredibly close, having not only been in love and married for 53 years, but also having worked together professionally during that time too. Lucci agreed, saying she was incredibly lucky to have found her perfect partner. Scotto then brought up the topic of whether or not Susan was looking to potentially start dating again, to which Susan replied that she's definitely not ready yet. She didn't judge anyone who was able to move on after the death of their spouse, pointing out that everyone's journey is different. But she said that for her, she's still in a state where she's simply missing him. And she even admitted that the people in her life, even fans and strangers, have already begun trying to set her up with someone new. But she said she wasn't anywhere close to being able to think about starting a life with a new person. She referred to Helmut as the love of her life, wiping tears from her eyes as she spoke elegantly about her late husband. She talked about some of the things she loved most about Huber, including the fact that he was a larger-than-life personality, who was not only a great caregiver, but who was also intelligent and brought humor to their life. She referred to him as very take-charge in a good way. She also smiled as she mentioned his lovely accent and his good looks. Helmut and Susan Helmut hailed from Innsbruck, Austria, and was born in 1937. He had a talent and passion for the culinary world and began his career down that path. He started out as an 18-year-old apprentice at the Hotel Maria Theresia before moving on to Le Col Hotelier, located in Lausanne, Switzerland. After a brief stint pursuing his career in Canada, he moved to the U.S. at age 21. Settling in New York City, he quickly ascended the ranks at the Knott Hotel Corporation, running the entire food and beverage department for the company by his late 20s. This was a prestigious position, as the Knott Hotel Corporation provided food for esteemed entities like the Pentagon and the UN. Eventually, he decided to leave the position and move to Long Island. He became the executive chef at a hotel there, the Garden City Hotel. This was a fortuitous move for him, despite the risks of leaving such a prominent job. That's because it allowed him to meet Susan, who was working there during a summer while she was in college. The two immediately fell in love and got married after dating for less than a month. Their wedding date? September 13, 1969. As Susan's career began to flourish, Huber agreed to let his culinary career go to the back burner and devote himself to helping Susan. He became her manager and eventually was the CEO of her business entities, SL Enterprises and Pine Valley Productions. The two enjoyed a happy marriage and business relationship for the next decades as Lucci's career thrived. They started a family, having two children together, Andreas and Liza. Huber passed away on March 28, 2022. While the family didn't release the cause, they said he died peacefully. They also asked for people to donate to the American Stroke Association, so perhaps he suffered a stroke and passed away from that. Susan's Recent Health Scare In October 2018, Susan started feeling a lot of pressure in her chest. She later likened it to an elephant sitting on her. She had pain in her rib cage too, which she tried to look past. She admitted that at the time, she felt there was no way she could be having any heart issues. This was especially due to the fact that she ate a Mediterranean diet and exercised regularly. She also admitted that she felt she was too busy to take the time to look into the issues, much less bother a cardiologist with an appointment. She assumed it would go away. She noted that many women have this same attitude. They take care of everyone in their life, including children and loved ones, but neglect their own well-being. 
but it turns out that hers was a serious issue. The primary artery to her heart had a 90% blockage. This means she was incredibly close to having a major heart attack. She ended up getting emergency surgery to place a stent into her heart. The condition was inherited from her father's side of the family and had little to do with her healthy lifestyle. Lucci assumed this episode would be behind her and she could get back to living her normal life. However, things took a turn for the worse in 2023. She admitted that during the pandemic, she'd been eating a lot of comfort food and was perhaps living in a slightly less healthy manner than before. Suddenly, she began having chest pain again, as well as some jaw pain. Amazingly, she felt herself slide right back into her previous state of being unwilling to call her doctor. She assumed she was fine and that her heart problems had been fixed. She even surprised herself, saying, quote, After telling women for three years to not be afraid to call the doctor and to put themselves on their to-do list, I reverted back to all those things. Fortunately, she eventually put her health first and got checked out. And once again, she had a major block in an artery. This time it was 80% and primarily due to cholesterol. Doctors inserted a second stent into her heart. She's recovering from the procedure, which went well. She admitted to being a little embarrassed about the fact that she advocated for people looking into their own heart and health problems and not being afraid to get checked out while actively not following her own advice. But ultimately, she decided to talk publicly about it in the hopes that her story will continue to show the importance of regular health checkups as well as getting looked at when there are signs of health issues. Susan's Career Highlights her career is marked by numerous notable highlights, earning her a well-deserved place in the annals of television history. Her breakthrough role came in 1970, when she was cast as Erica Kane on All My Children. She portrayed the iconic character for over four decades, making Kane one of the most recognizable and enduring characters in soap opera history. Her persistent nomination streak for the Daytime Emmy Award without a win became a much-discussed topic in the entertainment industry. But in 1999, after being nominated 18 times, Lucci finally won the Emmy. Her emotional acceptance speech and the standing ovation she received made the moment one of the most memorable in award show history. She's made numerous appearances on other popular TV shows, too. She guest starred on series like Dallas, Fantasy Island, and Army Wives. She also showcased her versatility by taking on film roles, including Young Doctors in Love and Joy. Notable theater credits include Annie Get Your Gun, The Beauty Queen of Lenane, and Unexpected Life. She also ventured into television hosting, displaying her charisma and poise. She's hosted programs like E! Celebrity Homes and Susan Lucci's Deadly Affairs. She then transitioned from daytime television to primetime. She starred in the hit drama series Devious Maids, created by Mark Cherry, the mastermind behind Desperate Housewives. Apart from her daytime Emmy win, she's received numerous awards, including a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know that Susan's longtime husband, Helmut, passed away? Let us know in the comments section below.